Hello, Luxury Real Estate Agents. We're going to talk a little bit about objections and how we can handle them using a process that contains seven steps. We'll cover the first three steps today. We'll do the next four the next time we get together again. As we talk about objections, we have to understand that they're very common, even in the high end. They center around price. Either they think the price you've recommended for a potential listing is too low, or the property you're showing them a price too high if they're buyers. They always think your commission is too high. Even in the high end, people do balk at, at commissions, length of contract, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But let's talk about you know the fact that objections are an everyday occurrence, even in high end real estate, and they're a natural part of the sales process. Think of them as merely a question, a concern, and oftentimes they are a reflex or a habit, if you will. People ask or cite or come up with common objections in similar situations just almost out of reflex. It's so predictable sometimes. But let's talk about the first three of the uh, seven steps we have for handling these objections. Number one is to pause. When you hear an objection, pause. If there was ever a time that silence is golden, it's here now. You know, I think about this game that they have at the arcade. I like to play with my kids where those little gophers pop up and it's called whack-a-mole or whack em down or something like that. And the longer the game progresses, the more quickly the little moles pop up and the faster you have to be with that big hammer to smack them back down again. It's a really fun game. I love working up a good sweat smack on the little moles down. My kids get a big kick out of watching me flail around with that hammer. But the funny thing is a lot of people in sales seem to think that that's how you handle objections. The second they pop up, you smack them down just like in the whack-a-mole game at the arcade. And I can tell you that that is the opposite, the wrong, the absolute incorrect way to handle objections. You want to have silence. Number one, you want to have time to think and frame your response and think about how your response is going to be received by the other side. And many times the objections will just take care of themselves. Not often, but enough where the pause is really critical. Sometimes even a spouse or a partner will answer the objection for the other party and it just goes away. You don't have to deal with it. Number two is to repeat the objection. Repeat it so that people know that you heard it and understand it. Stephen Covey says in his book, Seven Habits to Highly Effective People, we must first seek to understand before we can be understood. And a great way to be understood, or to make sure that people know that we've understood them, is to repeat what they tell us, especially objections. So pause and then repeat. So you think my commission is too high. And then you can pause again. Step three is to acknowledge. Acknowledge their objection and acknowledge their right to have the objection. I can understand, Mr. Mrs. Seller, why you want to net the most money possible from the sale of your property and why commission might be a concern. You've acknowledged their objection. You've sort of taken the wind out of their sails. They're expecting you to butt heads with them and to fight them on the objection. They're getting their back up. They're ready for their response. And when you acknowledge the objection, you somewhat take the wind out of their sails and you can help them breathe a sigh of relief and relax so that you can move on to the next steps, which we'll cover next time. Just a quick reminder here, if you order my book, Selling Luxury Homes, you get some downloads. We've covered these downloads in previous blogs. You can check them out on the, um, the blog section of my website, jackhotton.com. You also get a consulting certificate. The card looks like this. Just fill out the form and send it back, and I'll answer any of your luxury real estate questions during a 20-minute free phone consultation. I really enjoy doing these, and I love hearing all the questions and concerns that people have. So until next time, make it a great week, and I look forward to talking to you soon.